Yo, what's going on everyone? Today we are reacting to Brian and Andrew humbled girls with irrationally high self-esteem. Oh boy, here we go. Do me a favor. Uh, leave me a, uh, please leave a like on the video. Please consider following the channel if you're new. If you're watching this on YouTube, I go live Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Central Time. I'm live right now over on rumble it's a free speech platform they still allow you to be yourself they still allow you to have an opinion they don't censor they don't demonetize rumble's a great place so if you ever want to come over and hang out in the chat uh and just see what's what you know please come check me out um what else what else that's it let's go how do you think men treat women who they think they are settling for do they treat them well or do they tend to treat them poorly Poorly. Poorly. Yeah, poorly. Yeah. Poorly. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Do you have an oh, answer? I, uh, it's so tough because we're talking strictly based on looks. And it's sure. like yeah. relationships. Yeah, there's more to so it than much, that. You know, like if, if you're mid, my consideration, I mean, if we're, if we're still like looks, then that's fine. Yeah, we're but still like, talking about that. Um, I don't know. I think they treat them similar to how they treat themselves <laughs> well i mean we have a woman here who said her treatment totally changed when she became more physically attractive she used to weigh more she now weighs less the treatment has totally changed mm -hmm. and so taking her anecdotal example here i would say this equally applies to women yeah. women treat men who they're more attracted to better than they treat men who they're less attracted to yeah i mean i would say initially that's true if you're an attractive man you have an easier time but i will say this i will say this i think that women if, if a guy is funny and i don't think looks mean as much to women as they do to men if i'm being honest and you can feel free to disagree with me please leave me a comment down below um, if you disagree with this or agree that women, like if you're funny and you're charismatic as a man, that goes a long way with a woman. I think now, that's just a subconscious thing. Yeah. Right. But if as a woman, a but let me ask you a question. If you think you're more attractive than you actually are, how are you going to treat the men who are actually in your league, you're gonna just outright reject them. You're Love gonna ignore you them. Or if you do end up in a relationship with them, you're gonna view it as settling, and invariably you're not gonna treat them very well. Not not in all instances, of course. I'm not saying all women are inclined to treat people uh, worse off, but it occurs to me that we do tend to treat people uh, differently based on our sense of how attractive they are. If you settle for somebody, you might do less for them. You might not treat them as well. I don't sure. know. That's fair. I think a lot of it for girls too is like a lot of attractiveness. I know we're talking solely based off looks, but a lot of attractiveness is from personality. Yeah. I've seen guys that I like to know that before I get to know them, I can be like, they're not very cute. They're not that good looking, but once you get to know them and their personality, mm -hmm. it can completely change. Mm -hmm. And I'm notoriously known to go for guys that the rest of my friends don't find very attractive but that's solely because of their personality and yeah. how, how tall they agree. Yeah. <laughs> how tall they agree right? or wait are you asking or no yeah so were they still 6'3 but they weren't good looking but their no, personality no not was necessarily good? i mean i thought you only look we can't ignore the fact um we can't ignore the fact that good looks initially when you see someone will give you a an edge if you're better looking like th that's just human nature it would be stupid to ignore that but if you are talking about overall i think that women are a little more open to talking to people that are not as good looking because if like i said earlier if you're if you're funny or you have a good if you're charming women melt over that shit for sure I feel like women usually marry for better genetics, which does include looks. Marry for better genetics? I think women are attracted to better genetics. And look, everyone wants to get with someone with good genetics. That's the goal. So you're not wrong. 
but I feel like women more than men are more open to marrying people with lesser looks. If they're funny, if they're driven, if they, um, you know, are fun to be around. We dated six, one and above. My height and above is like, yeah, almost six, one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, height's a big thing, but I think that their personalities are more like the thing that gets them across mm. for me. If a guy's funny, I don't, I don't like, agree with you guys. That's crazy. Stuff, it goes right. Way do are all me. men funny? And what, what percentage of men do you think are funny? Bro, I don't agree with you guys at all. I've seen girls, I've seen girls throughout my life a lot where I'm like, how the hell did he get her? It doesn't make sense. Women, there's there's a lot of other factors that women will choose. And maybe some, and maybe a, a percentage of those maybe thinks, I know they will. I've seen it many, many times. <laughs> Again, but okay. No, yeah, yeah, that is a factor. That's a factor, but it's not the factor. And by the way, you guys are completely ignoring the rest of what I said. You guys are just, you guys are hung up on the ugly part. I said, if he's funny, if he's fun to be around. Okay. You can't, you can't take the part that you, that helps your argument and throw that in my face. You got, you got to take the whole thing and consider the whole thing. Funny, and what percentage of men hold themselves with confidence or have charisma? Probably a pretty high amount, but I think there's a fine line between confidence and charisma and like ego. Sure, these are all different things, but yeah. Uh, I I would say that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, I mean, I was just going to say I I agree that men can make up for deficiencies by having uh, outstanding personality. Uh, humor, et cetera. They can make up for it. Um, I still think some component of physical attractiveness needs to be there. Yeah. But well, of course. Yes. Look, I'm, I'm not talking about the dude that I'm not talking about the guy. I'm not saying the guy looks like fucking Gollum. You know, everyone has their limit. <laughs> like, you know, I, I, I don't want to sound like I'm saying that the guy could be fucking just dog shit ugly and get a 10. I'm not saying like, I'm not crazy, but I'm just saying, you know, women will go down. I think women are more susceptible, not susceptible. That's not the right way to phrase it. Women are more likely, I would say to go down a, like a number or two on the hotness scale. If the guy has other great personality traits, that's all I'm saying. Sure. If they can, but what if a guy doesn't have those things. Doesn't have the physical yeah. traits? No, he doesn't have the humor or the charisma. Well, then he's fucked. The then he's not going to get her. It's probably a no guy. I, th I find that yeah. when people don't hold themselves in confident ways, don't have the charisma, don't, they become less attractive to mm -hmm. me. Of course. Okay. Even if yeah, but here's the thing. I know I'm pausing it a lot. The people on YouTube fucking hate when I do this, by the way. Um, Here's the thing. And here's where you guys are right. And, and this is what you guys were saying, and this is, and you're right on this part for sure. If a guy is less attractive, but he, and he's also just a dud, he doesn't have a personality. He's like a stump on a log. Then yeah, the guy's gonna be jerking off until he's 78. If they're like a 10 out of 10, it, there's just something about them that will always be less attractive to me. The way you think really matters. Yeah. There was a guy that I was talking to. He had. A Furthermore, if you are a guy that's like an eight, nine, or 10, you know, like me. Just kidding. If you're a guy that's really, really very, very, very attractive and you are not funny, you have no personality, you're kind of a dick, she will choose someone that's a six or seven, but then but makes her laugh every fucking day. Women, if you can make a woman laugh and you have a good personality, you have so much more going for you than a guy that's hot as fuck. Eight pack beautiful but he was a liberal and i was just like i can't do it <laughs> just the way that he the, way, the things that he would say i just couldn't do it you did he, the right he, thing he was, <laughs> i'm telling you he was sexy his biceps were insane but he was just stupid <laughs> not big it, it really does matter my first boyfriend he actually was ugly he was not attractive people tell him all the time how the hell were you able to get kishwan he says my personality and it's true yeah. 
He was a conservative? No, I was, I was like 17. Oh. He's in prison now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really choose the best guy the first time around. <laughs> Dodged a bullet. So yeah, I guess, there you go. Yeah. I mean, I guess going back to my point, so if, up, if women tend to have a delusional and inflated sense of self uh, as it comes to their physical attractiveness, they'll rate themselves higher than they actually are. They rate men lower than what those men actually are. I mean, how... How is this it's just so not stupid, a recipe dude. for disaster where women will just be perpetually chasing after men who are out of their league and rejecting the men who are in their league? So, I mean, that's why I think this rating question is important. Frankly, I think most women are trying to date well above what their looks, prospects, and personalities warrant. I say some women, not all. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, especially it, think the issue of women chasing men is rampant right now. I don't know if I entirely see the correlation between it being because they rate themselves more highly and tend to avoid men who you say are in their league. But I definitely think that it's a problem when women demean themselves to the point of chasing a man, whether they recognize they're doing it or not. Well, I think Wait. that the script has slowly been getting flipped with Gen Z. So... The, the idea of egalitarianism, the movement towards we're just interchangeable widgets, which has become socialized in society. It seems to be rejected pretty heavily by a huge subset of Gen Z. A bunch of them embrace it, don't get me wrong, but a larger subset of them say no than you would ever imagine. And so <clears throat> they seem to look at this and go, ah, you know, if, uh, if you really think we're equal and you really think that you're awesome, and, and you, pay, you can pay for the fucking dates, and you can fuck off. And that it seems to kind of... Re it's funny, Russ, because they don't even address it. Because it's such a big podcast, a $20 donation comes in and doesn't even get read. <laughs> That's crazy. Reverse the script, right? Now the women kind of have to chase them. They're just like, eh, you know, we don't, we don't really want to get involved if, uh, if this is going to be a lot of... You know... I blame, I can't blame blame, but I would say a part of the issue is people like Andrew Tate. Now, before everybody gets, I know there's a lot of Andrew Tate fans, so before everybody gets mad at me, I mean, I don't really care if you get mad at me, but here's, here's my take on Andrew Tate. I think his message to men, a lot of what he says, I think is men need to hear. You need to work hard. You need to uh, work out. You need to be stoic. You know, you don't need to be some in your feelings, fucking liberal dork. Okay. I think that Andrew Tate has a good mess. Like there's a lot in his messaging that I think young men especially need to hear. I really do. But he has, but he has an obsession with like, the, but the money aspect is drives me crazy. It sends the wrong message. I can't wait for this one, Mr. Move. You need to be 50 yards away from my daughter. There, I, was, I, was, I, was, I wanted to make sure that one got read. That was funny. Um, he, his whole message revolving around money, I think is just wrong. I just, look, my, having money is fine. Having money, you want... If you can make a bunch of money and live a, and live a good life and provide a lot uh, for your family, that's all good. That's all good. I'm not saying money in and of itself is bad, but the pursuit, the obsession with money, making money be like the most important thing in your life, and this whole like top G, you know, the goal is to have a Bugatti, you know, it's like fuck that stuff is so fucking stupid, bro. Find somebody that you love. If if you're broke, work hard together, be together. But money is just not that important. It's important, but it's not even close to the top of the heap when it comes to the things that are most important in life. It starts with family. It starts with family. It starts with being good to the people in your life your wife, your children, your brothers, your sisters, and just focusing on family. And his whole message revolves around working out and making a bunch of money. And I don't think he talks enough about family. 
when you die, where does that money go? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't go with you. That's that's for sure. Like, who gives a fuck how rich you are? Again, I'm not saying you shouldn't. If you if that's your goal is to be rich, I'm not saying don't go for it. I'm just saying it's not as important as other things. Work and a pain in the ass and this type of thing. And um, there's a, there seems to be a much larger subset of that now than there there was definitely for millennials. Just one point of uh, clarification, Gracie. When I say mm -hmm. chasing, I don't mean that they're necessarily like doing the proactive things that men do to get women, although they are, but uh, so when I say chasing, I just mean like the men that they want to be with. So the man could still be mm -hmm. taking initiative uh, because men will shoot their shots with women below their league. Um, but the women will view this purely sexual interest and think that this is somehow equating to like long-term romantic interest. And uh, so a really attractive guy might pursue a woman who's less good looking than him. Doesn't mean that she'll ever get commitment or anything like that. That's why women often complain about boys and the like um, because there's just a differential there. And you typically- What's up, Native? It does happen to men, but you typically don't hear men complaining about, well, I slept with her once and then, I mean, look, there's some, there's some women who do this, but I slept with her once, I wanted more, but she didn't. Some women do this, but it's not a common complaint uh, among men. And the differential is, so as a man, if we can sleep with a woman, there's a very high likelihood we can get her in a relationship. It's not clear to me if the reverse is the same. It's not clear to me if a, if a woman, just because you can sleep with a guy, that you can, for, with certainty, get him into a relationship if that's your goal. No, he's right. No, he's right. It's women, yeah. I would say it's more, a little bit more, there's a little more blurry line there these days because I think the whole fuck, the fuck culture is got a lot of women acting like men in that way. But I still think it skews way, 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 way far one way. I think that if you sleep with the, if a girl is able to sleep with a guy, that guy is much more likely to want to be out after that one time. But the other way around, if the girl, if the guy wants to pursue a girl, he just was able to sleep with, um, it's, and she was a, and she gave it up like that. I think it's the chances of him being in a relationship with her is probably much higher. I'm just, doesn't that make sense though, based on what you just explained? So like a guy, I'm like, am I, did I hear this right? So a guy sleeps with a girl, but, and think and thinks he could get her in a relationship. Is that what it is? But then it's not the same. Yeah, like as as men, if yeah. we can sleep with you, if we want a relationship, there's a pretty good chance we can get that girl in a relationship. Mm -hmm. right. It's not clear to me if a girl sleeps with a guy that she can in all instances get the guy in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I think that's fair. That's true. Because I, here's one of the reasons. So in order for us men, in order for us to sleep with a girl, typically from the girl's perspective, from the woman's perspective, we have to be at least attractive enough to be in a relationship with you. So if you have, and- Bro, why are there so many flies in here? You guys see all these flies, is it just me? People are too easy now, have some morals, Jesus go on dates. Well, I mean, young people need, yeah, I don't know, dude, like, you're right. Uh, I think the morality, I, I think we, we, we treat sex these days, especially with younger people, we, we treat sex like it's a, um, like it doesn't mean anything. And that's the, that's the, just the, it doesn't mean anything. So, you know, we've taken the romance out of life. You know, we've taken this idea of, of family and of, yeah, I agree. I'm not very articulate today. Usually I'm very, 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 very articulate. It goes sort of very opposite ways. So for you to sleep with a guy, even if it's casual, 
you'll typically want the guy to be like you'll go out of your way to find like a super attractive guy to do that. Yeah, it's a fly. Cool. Um, whereas when it comes to women, or excuse me, when it comes to men, we'll sleep with a girl who just on the basis of her looks alone, we just want to have sex, whatever. She'll never get commitment. She'll never get a relationship. We'll still sleep with her. Mm. Like just, just on the basis of her looks, like we'll sleep with her, but based off of her looks, we would never be in a relationship with her. She'll never get commitment. She'll never get a relationship. Does that make, does that yeah. parse for you? Like, yeah. so for example, if a guy's trying to get laid, yeah. like he just wants quick sex, yeah, he'll lower his standards. Much, sure. Whereas women, if they want to just get sex, they'll actually typically, they're not going to lower their standards looks wise. They're going to raise their standards look, looks wise. They're going to be like, well, if I just want casual sex, I want it to be the hottest guy I can get it. Whereas for a relationship, they might recognize well, I can't get that hot guy into a relationship because he just wants mm. sex. So I have to be more realistic when it comes to the physical attractiveness of a uh, long-term partner. Mm. Give me just a second, you be all mean, answer that. Yeah, that's Sounds fair. Like. But I don't, yeah, I don't know that every, well, uh, God, this isn't gonna apply to every woman, but like, I feel like I, I, if I wanted sex, I would go, just sex, I would go for someone who I felt was in my league and or above. You know. Yeah, so the most beautiful men on planet Earth, right? For sure. Tens. Tens, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, listen, after discussing, I lowered my number, okay? <laughs> so don't shit on me. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just saying um, from the perspective of a woman who says, I'm a 10, they say, well, I'm going to go out and get a guy who's in my league. That's every fucking guy who exists, right? Sure. But I do think after hearing all this discussion, like, I think there is one thing to admitting or saying out loud that you're a 10 and then actually internalizing that and feeling that way. It seems like more women just ask the question, like myself, would say, yeah, I'm a 10, but then realistically in their everyday lives, I don't think they actually... Neither do we. We think the exact same thing. <laughs> well, no, not so that we're they... saying. So we're saying the exact same thing, right? Is that, yeah, you're, you're correct, that most women will identify themselves at, at an outrageously high number, eight, nine, 10... Um, you know, something in this category. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that they're being honest. And when you, you start to reduce why they're not being honest, you start to recognize these kinds of patterns that it has more to do with how I feel, more to do with how I want to present, mm -hmm. more, you know, more to do with that than how they actually think they rate compared to other women. Right. So then if that's the case, I don't know that everyone would delusionally go after the most attractive guy. Does that make sense? Right, but that would make all, that would make our point for us. It'd be saying sure. so if you wouldn't weren't going after the most attractive guys, but you're going for whatever was in your league, then this idea that you were a ten and amongst the most beautiful on planet Earth clearly can't be the case. Right. So that's the point, yeah. right? No, and I think I got around to the point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think part of the issue overall is that. We put way too much stock into looks. Now, listen, I'm not an idiot. I understand that, you know, you got to be physically attracted to people. You know, th that's kind of what drives people initially. But I think we need to be more open um, to, to seeing inside of someone's soul, man. You know, th th how many people, like how many great relationships do you think don't happen because let's say, and look, I'm not saying you should, look, if you're someone who's objectively a handsome person, I'm not saying you got to go for a two or a one, someone just completely fucking unfuckable because of a personality. You know what? You probably, in some cases, you probably should. Because here's the thing. You don't know. I don't think your, your soul doesn't give a shit about looks, man. Our, in, our, in, in our soul, in our heart, there's some beautiful people, man, you know, like, that are just not that super attractive on the outside. But first of all, there's way more to life than sex, number one. Number two, but, but it's a big part of it. You know, I can't ignore that. And I'm not saying drop your, your standards all the way to the bottom. I'm not saying that either. But I'm saying maybe lower them a little bit. Like broaden broaden your horizon 
to a certain degree. Because there are some people out there that are really beautiful on the inside. And there's how many good relationships, how many beautiful potential lifelong relationships are that I never happen. Saggy tits around nothing like getting slapped in the face while they ride the top. Because people just, they refuse to go even down one point. When I say one point, I'm on, I'm talking about the, the, the out of 10 point scale. You know, if a dude is a nine and he only wants a woman, that's just a fucking straight nine, 10 baddie. And that, and he won't lower his standard. I'm like, okay, I get it. You know, you want someone as physically attractive as you, but what if a girl's a seven? What if she's pretty, pretty damn cute? She's not a, she's not a model. She doesn't look as good as you, but she's, you know, just a beautiful person. And by the way, there's some people that are a little bit less attractive. I think seven is like a sweet spot. You know what I mean? For attractiveness. Because a seven is like someone who's not as hot as the hottest hot, so they don't have that overconfidence or that that super ego. But they're not. But they're not so ugly that they're not just demoralized. But they're just we'll call them just you know above average. And I think that's a sweet spot. You you can find a lot of love in there. <laughs> you can't fuck a soul fox. First of all, you don't know that. But the point is, I think people could lower their physical, not their, not their standards on internal beauty, but their standards on physical beauty. We could all kind of take our ego down a notch or two. Because there's a lot of beautiful souls out there that are, that are getting passed on because people just have this self-absorbed view of the world. And they think they, that they got to find someone that's, Fucking beautiful. Anyways, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know if I'll post this one, dude. I, I don't think I said shit this time. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm sure the people on YouTube are going to love how much I paused this one. I'm sure no one will dislike it for that. But if you made it to the end, hey, congratulations. Um, now go find me on Rumble. It's a great place. And I'm live right now. Uh, I go live Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Central Time. And I uh, hope I see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.